Paul Bobo. Go ahead. Hey, now. How you doing? <laughs> Would you ever have Fred on as your guest to do a full interview like he was a true guest on your show? I think I kind of did that once with Fred. I think I had a long conversation with Fred once on the air. I remember that day. You think it was yes. a long interview, but I timed it. It was 92 seconds. Was it really? <laughs> That's long. Yeah. You want to know something? Early on <laughs> radio, I learned a couple of things. Fred is good in small doses. But that's why I would like to hear a long interview with Fred. Well, she just wants to see you suffer, Howard. <laughs> you want to know something? And Robin won't admit this. Robin once uh, said to me in private, and I hope you don't mind me revealing this. She said, I never he turned said to me. This. <laughs> she said, Howard, 92 seconds with Fred is a lifetime. <laughs> Anything that takes away from Robin time is, is very <laughs> oh, Now you got him turning on me. I never Robin, said this. Just she was on your Robin once said on to me, side, Fred. I'll never get those 92 seconds back. <laughs> it's gone. Here, I'll try one question with Fred, and we'll see how it goes. All right? All right. Let's see. Yep. So, Fred, what'd you do over the vacation? Oh, no. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Now, uh, Fred, seriously, how was your vacation, Fred? Here we go. It was fine. There you go. All right. Thanks, Fred. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that great? If, if people on the Academy Awards should have learned from Fred. Now, Shut the just fuck up. imagine an but, hour of that. <laughs> I love Fred. I've been working with Fred the longest out of anybody on this show. And even with all of the love, in my studio, I built a wall specifically not to see Fred. <laughs> An actual wall. There it goes. No more Fred. I block Goodbye, him out. Bye, Fred. There's the wall. Mark in this date. <laughs> All right. Fred is now hidden from my view and the audience's view. And I doubt I'll ever take that screen down. Only up. I think you started COVID so you didn't have to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I invented it. By the way, Paul Bobo, I straightened out my little studio down here. Sometimes things get messy. That's what I did during my vacation. I rode my motorcycle. Oh. I cooked some dinners, and that's it. Just Where did you, stuff. Fred, I'm going to do oh. a follow-up, like Barbara Walters. Please. Where did you ride your motorcycle? I went to Montauk Point. It's very beautiful there. You went somewhere to just look. Sometimes I just like to ride just to clear my head. Whatever clear your there. head, you say? To clear my, clear my head, yes. Right, right. <laughs> so you, Rogers. you can't clear your head in any <laughs> no. other way. Okay. No. All right. Here's the interview. Paul Bobo wanted, and I'm giving it to him. Uh, no, nah, this is not what good. is in your head that needs <laughs> you're not to be cleared out. Get out. Yes. After a while, it starts to get on your nerves that you're like you're in a house. You just got to get out. You got to feel sort of free, and it's a safe way to do it. So you didn't really clear your head. You just wanted no, to no, get out of the clear, house. You do clear your head by getting out and seeing. And not only that, it's, it's much different riding. On a motorcycle than it is driving in a car. You get and what the smell, is it about your you family sounds. that you have to get out of the house from them? What went wrong? I get on their nerves and they get on mine sometimes. You know, it's a, you got it's on a your nice wife's face. nerves over the vacation. I get on her nerves. You <laughs> <laughs> actually this vacation no. Let's forget interviewing Fred long form. Let's interview Fred's wife long form. I want to know. <laughs> see how she, what he what now irritates her. <laughs> oh my God, Fred's out of the house. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure she does. So, Fred, when you got to Montauk Point, yeah, I'm, I'm being serious because I don't get this. You got there, yeah. you get off your bike, do you park yeah. the bike or do you sit on the bike and look at Montauk Point? I got off the bike and I looked because it's a really beautiful view. It's almost like a, it's not a 360, but you get to see Long Island Sound all the way out, you know. How long do you spend looking at Long Island Sound? I probably spend 10 minutes looking. You stared for 10 minutes. The staring I is stare. 10 minutes. I right. stare for 10 minutes, yes. <laughs> Why 10 minutes? Can't you get one or two minutes and then kind of Were be done? Were you watching your clock? <laughs> I mean, are there new things that you pick up during minutes seven, eight, and nine that you couldn't have picked up in it's minutes six? It's just the beauty of the universe. <laughs> I'm not putting you down. I'm just trying to understand. In other words, Oh, no, feel, you are putting me down, but that's okay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. I feel you need to justify the long ride. So you spend 10 minutes looking. I think you'd be done in five minutes looking at Montauk. Well, and then you turn around and go back home. But it's more the 10 minutes is to kind of reconnect your thoughts as well. Because when you're riding, you're doing nothing but thinking about riding the motorcycle itself. He gets on the motorcycle to clear his mind. Right. Yes. Then he gets to Montauk Point to reconnect his mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Paul Bobo, there's the big interview with Fred. Uh, we heard about uh, fascinating uh, mm. clearing We got of the a head. window mm. into Fred's world. There you he go. rode his motorcycle right, while I, we, I did. Listen, I love you. I adore you. You are a genius, and I do not want anything As bad are you. to you on that motor. Thank As you so are much. you. We all agree. We're all Robin's even right. a bigger genius. It's Robin's a love the biggest fest. genius. It's a love the biggest fest. genius I ever met. <laughs> I spoke to Robin over the weekend. I can't believe what a genius she is. I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> and if you don't know, she'll tell you. Oh, she told me all right. I don't even. I, I no, don't even know what to is, say. There you go. And what you don't know, she knows. All right. And Fred, thank you for the interview. I'm sure all the thank fans you, my love friend. it. All right. There we'll talk go. again in five years. Thank you, Fred. Uh, Cut him off completely goodness. now.